Robotic surgery is quickly becoming the norm in many cancer procedures, thanks to its safety and more successful outcomes. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker sat down with a local head and neck surgeon from UT Health San Antonio to find out why the robotic surgical option is so important in removing tumors in the throat. TORS stands for Transoral Robotic Surgery. It's a surgical procedure performed completely through the patient's mouth using robotic technology to facilitate the procedure. The thing where we operate is very high stakes real estate, very tight confines. But once the surgical robot and its instruments are in place, we get very good exposure that allows us to perform these surgeries in a safe, effective way. The benefits of TORS include shorter hospital stays, less risk of infection, quicker return to normal activity, reduced risk of long-term swallowing problems, and less scarring compared to open surgery. There can be some delayed return to normal swallowing, speech, but it's much shorter than what we saw with the traditional surgical procedures. TORS is used to remove tumors from the back of the throat and to operate on cancers of the oropharynx, including the tonsils and the base of the tongue. In the past couple of decades, the number of people diagnosed with these cancers has been rising. We quickly learned this was associated with the human papillomavirus, or HPV. This year, it's estimated that 53,000 adults in the U.S. will be diagnosed with oral and oropharyngeal cancer. These types of cancers are twice as high in men than in women. Now, cancers of the oral cavity is the eighth most common cancer in men, with about 25% of cases occurring in those under the age of 55. But now, thanks to TORS, surgeons can look at tumors from all angles. This allows you to basically look around corners, the back of the tongue, these types of things, which normally you wouldn't have a line of, a line of sight for. To result in much better outcomes. Not only allows them to have an excellent survival expectation, but again, hopefully have as limited of treatment side effects as possible. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.